Okay, welcome back. Today, we're going to do something similar to what we once time did before on Welcome to My World, when we showed Silver Moon from a character's perspective. And what we're doing is we want to record some video segments for a montage, uh, for a, a video that I want to record using my little corner of the world by Maria Osmond. And so I figured what a better way to do it than actually show you as, whoa, watch out for the bolt. <laughs> uh, walking up to the entry. Actually, let me set this thing for walking. I, I think walking would be better anyway. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, but that's a good way to do it. Okay. How do I set this thing to walk? Oh, that's the... I think it's this one. Yeah, alright. So now... Let's tilt her head up here so we can look a little more at the stately nature here of Shepherd's Gate. I'm gonna... What I try to do is walk in here, nice, slow, pan, so we can see Catholic here at the entrance, and um, instead of running, I don't have a lot of time because I got to get ready for a show tonight, but. So let's just get this in here. Of course, I'm looking out through her eyes, and that's scary because I'm not used to doing this. And we're not running either because we want to walk. So you can see the city is slower, so that the audience can see the grandeur of the city. Okay, and let's be honest, there's a lot of things in the city you may not recognize. And so we're going to just take some video clips and I'll show you this gazebo breezeway thingy here because a lot of people don't even realize what this is. This is honestly it's the it's, it's, it's a strange situation here. Uh, it's a strange design. Um, Seven Moon is kind of a hybrid city. It's got a little bit of electric. It's got a little bit of gas. There's the motel right there I live in. Let's go in here real quick, too. I'm walking so we can see it slowly. And then we'll pick up the best clips. What a better way to show the city when you walk in here and you just look at it through the eyes of my characters instead of looking at it the way I usually do, which is run through this place at a very breakneck speed. And this is, of course, the inn. There's Jovia, still looking at her bookshelves. I don't know why she does that. I don't think she's looking at something over here. So. She's coming upstairs. This is our bedroom. This 
basement bed. Let me see if I can I can move my eyes around a little bit. Let's see. Where the where would have been windows if they if the game had put windows in here. Seriously, don't ask me how they would carry kegs of ale up these stairs, but... So let's just... So now, okay, that's why I was, up, I was backwards. So, which is nice, you can do this. So flip it around. So... This is the kitchen up here, and there's... No one, there's a cook in here. She's kind of cute too. She's like cooking trainer. Uh, first of all, the size of the stoves are gargantuan. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I don't have a lot of time before we get they go down live in a little bit on the other show, but um, so I'm trying to get some of these clips in so we can see. I wanted to win the rest of the cord because there are people here. If I was to go, wanted to skip the entire scenery and not go with the people, I would have done that. So, get to the bazaar here. See the area. This is like a plaza. It's the auction house over here. I don't think they have two auction houses in this game. Um, we got individual shops here in the game. Um, magic stores. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna fly. Around. I wanna walk around the game here and see if I'm trying to find the ultimate clips. Maybe I'll go to the royal court next, and um, What I'll do is I'm going to take the video clip and I'm going to edit the clips down to bring it to the, um, let me speed it up a little bit because we're kind of running late here. Um, so I mean, I don't have so much time to get video clips before I go live. So, all right, so here we go into, um, And if you look down here, you can see where this will take you right back to Shepherd's Gate again. This brings you into Murder Row, which is, uh, I guess you can call it the seediest part of the game. It's certainly not that seedy. There's, there is some things here. There's another inn over here. There's the, um. Uh, Going back up here, let me see if I can tilt this up here so you can see more of the city. Um, yeah. I'm trying to visualize it from uh, a person looking at this place, not looking at the, you know, the, 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 the grandeur and the majesty of this huge place. It, it is, there's the, here's the thing I really want to focus on in the shot, oops, is the waterfall. Silver Moon has this 
waterfall. This is the royal court. This is the um um. It's a double waterfall. Watch out! I'll show you what that means. Oops! Watch out for the bowls. <laughs> Watch out! Oh! I can't drive this thing. There you go. Because I'm not used to looking at it through my character's eyes. All right. So anyway, here we have. We can see the. I remember there's uh like I said there's. You can see that the beauty of the waterfall here. Yow, I'm not used to walking this like this. Those are the guards. See the throne room. All this. Awesomeness. So let me switch back over and make sure I don't make sure I don't die in the process. Cause it's kinda treacherous when you walk going up here. Cause just these a lot of these structures have no guardrails. So let's just zoom back in. Here's the portal to uh, Agramar. If that's your thing, if you like to go to Agramar. Zooming up here as you can see just how big this is. This is um it's just really awesome. Um just to think the song I'm gonna sync this with to or uh, is approximately about three minutes, so we're gonna have to make a pretty quick video. So this is Silver Moon City. This is my home uh, in the game. This is where I live. Of course, I'm running right now, so I'm not walking. I'm just. Oops. I know it's case loss. Um He's considered hero, bung the blood elves. Um, 
he's a he's got statues all over the place, and uh, he's uh, those balls that he's holding up are fell energy. I don't know exactly how to describe fell energy. Just to say is it's it, before the um, blood elves embraced the light. They were embracing the power of demons to do give them the power to do their magic. Today, they don't use the power of evil. So let's go, let's go slowly meander through. Coming up to the Dead Scar, a place that I personally think is really horrible. Um, that despite all the revisions that World of Warcraft has gone through, that they insist on keeping the Dead Scar. It's really not that dangerous to walk around the dead scar. We can see, um, let me look up here, you can see the trees. It never rains here. It never rains here. It's always sunny. Okay, now it comes to the dead scar. Now, You can see how the dead scar just chops the entire universe apart. You can hear the the cats in the game. You can see the the plants, the darn scourge down there. The main entrance to Silver Moon is destroyed. So. Well, I think this is enough footage for what I want to do. Now I just got to go ahead and cut the segments to fit in to the game. Oh, yeah. By the way, I mentioned the light fixtures. The light fixtures in this in this game are electric. The um, Silver Moon is an interesting hybrid environment. It's got electric lighting. It's got um, fire pits. It's it's a variety of light sources. Um, and so you can see what I'm looking at here. It's um, it's just a really beautiful place to look at. We also have a garden downstairs. So when you come to the main entrance, there's a there's a flower garden downstairs. You can see some flowers up here, too. 
We're coming to the entrance of the city. And there's benches everywhere. And, um... I'm gonna get these statues of Caithless, they're also lost there, on every one of these portals, or like, um, I don't know why they push so much about him, but he is everywhere in this game. Yeah, I know. I always have the hardest time for going to get through this portal here. This is not an easy way to walk around here. Oops. Yeah, I don't want to get. I don't want to give myself a hot foot. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at this real quick as we come back in here. There's a lot to take in in this game. The um, Silver Moon City has a lot of places I would love to explore. You can see a lot of the fell thingies and the uh, Well, I think that just about does it. Those are our mailboxes. Why does my inn have two mailboxes in front of it? I don't know. Thanks for watching this short little video. Now I gotta figure out which clips to use in my little video montage for um, the video I wanna work on. But I thought I would show you this as we were doing the video clip so you can see what it looks like. Have a nice day. Bye bye.